sweep my table. I just cleaned my table off and it smells lemon fresh. I'm doing like a sage green and also a gray. This is the only background I have. Guys, welcome back to the party. Can you see all of my decorations? <laughs> all of my, my fanfare here. But I'm back with another favorites video. These are definitely things that I used and abused in the month of May. Let's start with highlighter because that's always the most fun. These are the highlighters from Melt. And my favorite one that I've been using and I'm wearing it right now is this one in the color Gold Ore. So they have like a really like interesting texture. They're all embossed with like, it's not really the Melt Cosmetics logo, but it's just the word Melt in a butter, in a butter, in a butter. It's the word Melt in a bunch of different fonts and it's real sexy looking. Put this on first, then I put a cream blush on over it so they're kind of mixed together to give me like this like two for one glow sandwich basically. But these are so beautiful, I have all three colors. I'll swatch the other three for you, meaning the other two because two plus one equals three. These are the things that we learn on this channel. But this is Nova, it's a highlighter for deeper skin tones. I'm also wearing this as a bronzer. I'm wearing a lot of bronzer today by the way, two different bronzers. And then this color is Stargazer and it's their more a pinkier beige, um, but these are just, these are so beautiful. Gold or the one that I like really gives you a little bit more of a sparkle. They just look like dewy, juicy skin. So I've been loving those, really, really loving those. Next, this mascara. Okay, this is my first YSL mascara and it's super bouge and I can't remember what it was. I think I actually had a gift card to, to Sephora or like, no, I had store credit. I had store credit, which is like my gift card to myself. So I was like, you know what? I really want some colorful mascara. I'm having some like high school nostalgia right now, but I wanna like upgrade, you know what I'm saying? So I got this one. This is in burgundy from YSL. And let me see, can you see the sensual seduction of this color? Look at how beautiful that is. Fun fact about YSL mascara is that it smells good, which I actually think is great because if your mascara no longer smells, then you can really tell when it's expired and you can throw it out. So I think that that's actually kind of brilliant. But besides the scent, besides that it's like super bouge, like gold, it's a damn good mascara. And the burgundy is not like, it's not like super bright, but you can tell in the sunlight, but it's just a very, very flattering color. And it doesn't smudge on me, it does not flake at all all so I've been really loving this next makeup item that I have been leaving is this I got two of these lipsticks from M cosmetics um, Michelle Fawn's channel I think this is like $17 but I love this color this is in the color French nude it's kind of a brownie nude let me let me do my swatch game here just a really beautiful color they smell kind of like cocoa powder like straight up or like hot chocolate mix oh yeah it's like a Swiss miss but this color is so gentle and beautiful the formula is really velvety it doesn't dry down to like a crusty situation on the lips I find that it fades really well very naturally and I just I think it's a beautiful color this is definitely a more sort of brownie nude with a hint a squint of pink to it. I'm sure I could put this on without a mirror if I was so inclined. I'm just never inclined to do that. I always want a mirror. Next lip look that I happen to be wearing right now is this little, do you see this little pocket full of glamour? This is from Clarence. This is their Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. When I read that, I was like, ooh, because I really don't like the feel of a lip oil like a very thin lip oil. I don't like it, I don't like it. Like I still feel all the like crustiness on my mouth. It just feels like I got grease on my mouth. However, this feels like a pillowy miracle and it looks really sexy when you pull it out of your purse. Who doesn't want that? I got the color, scent, flavor, Honey Glam, number seven. It's basically like a honey colored clear balm with golden sparkles in it. 
It's so beautiful. My lips feel very like nourished and, and zazzed when I'm wearing it. Like nourishment plus zazz equals Honey Glam lip treatment oil. Next thing I have been using is this makeup setting mist from Kat Von D. Holy mackerel. I could wear the greasiest makeup in the land. It would stay on my face all day with this stuff. And it doesn't smell like alcohol. Like it doesn't feel like you're putting a ton of alcohol based spray on your face. Even though there is alcohol in it. But for a setting spray, it's what you need. You need an alcohol content in a setting spray in order to keep your makeup on your face for longer. This one smells like cucumber, literally like you just cut a cucumber, and it works so well. I notice such a difference in the staying power of my makeup when I use this, so um, I love it. Love, love, love. Should I show you the spray? People seem to like that when you like show them how well it sprays. It's magical. It's a bit magical. And then I have another facial spray, <laughs> but this one is more, I would say, like nourishment, skincare, revitalize during the day. So if the Kat Von D is like, set your makeup, set it and forget it. This one with no alcohol in it, you can just put on bare skin, you can put over makeup. This is from the Heritage Store, and it's their Rose Water and Glycerin Facial Spray. Glycerin is something nice to have. It makes you look super dewy. It makes you look super dewy. I'll spray this on after I wash my face, before I put on my makeup. I'll spray this on in the middle of the day. I will spray this on my face if I want my highlighter to be extra glowy. It's just... Mm. I decant this into a little three ounce because this very annoyingly is four ounces. So I put it into a little three ounce spray bottle and I take that on the plane with me. It is so good to have on the plane. It just has so many uses and I'm obsessed with it. This is like $7. They have plain rose water and then they have rose water with glycerin. So make sure you get the one with glycerin in it if you want all of those benefits. Yeah, I got this at Whole Foods. It's amazing. Next up, I don't know if you can tell, that I like this. This is from the brand Serious Skincare, and it's their olive oil replenishing body oil. My friend gave this to me. She said her aunt bought it for her on like QVC, and the smell just didn't go right with her skin, so she gave it to me. It's just straight up delicious body oil if you have dry skin on your body. Oh my gosh. I need to get another bottle of this. I love it so much. It's just so moisturizing. It is definitely not a dry oil by any stretch. Let me see if I can get some more out of here. It's a straight up oil. It's a straight up, you see? Mm, it smells so good. It reminds me almost of, if you remember Vitabath, like the green Vitabath, how that smelled, it reminds me of that. But just very like, oh gosh. Yeah, I need to get another one of this. Right after the shower, come on. Forget it. Be slipping and sliding all over the place. I love this, this body oil and I ran out of it too fast so I need to get another one. Hopefully they sell a big bottle, I don't know. I'm just telling you my dreams. Last product. Okay, my mom gave me a travel size of this one and I used it just because I had like run out of lotion or something like that and I'm obsessed with this. This is the Jurgens Natural Glow what do you call it? Wet Skin Moisturizer. And I have it in the color Fair to Medium. So this is like gradual fake tan in a body moisturizer, but it's wet skin body moisturizer, meaning you put it on before you dry off. Hear me out. This is going to blow your mind. There are several layers to this. So you're in the shower, you wash, you za za za, then you're done. Before you get out of the shower, you put this on your soaking wet bod, and then you get your towel, you dry off, you wake up in the morning, you got a little fake tan on. You guys, this does not get on my sheets. It does not get on my towels. It even says it on here, it doesn't transfer. It, it's amazing, it doesn't transfer to any material, but it gives you a fake tan. And I have the color Fair to Medium, and I noticed a difference on my skin tone. I would not consider myself a maybe medium, but I definitely, definitely got a tan on my legs and my body from this. And I've kind of 
wanted to stick to the fair medium when I got the the bigger size because I wanted to make sure my technique was right like I didn't want any like streaky poos I got the fair to medium first and now I'm gonna graduate to the medium to deep so I can like get my super tan on but I definitely noticed a difference using this and it's super moisturizing it feels like you have like this exoskeleton of moisture on I'm just I'm really here for the wet skin moisturizers number one and I'm super here for them adding a tan to my legs. It's still like 60 degrees in New York. Uh, like, what am I supposed to do? I, can't, I gotta wear pants all the time, you guys. So I'm, 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 in, I'm in pants. I can't get an actual tan on these legs. So I have to manufacture it. But I love this, this uh, natural glow wet skin. Natural glow. Hello for a natural glow. Anyway, those are my favorites for May. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I love hearing your comments. Let me know what some of your favorites were for the month of May. Ooh. What? I will see you very soon with another video. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. See, I've moisturized. I just moisturized my skin and now I... Subscribe if you want. could be fun and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.